Welcome back to another video in our simple platformer series. In this video, we're going to make it so our player can go to a new platform and then another platform and so on. I thought about having this video be with an enemy we could take out with the projectile, but I think it's important we have a place to go so that after we take our enemy out, we get past them in some way, uh, we go to the next platform and move through the game. So to do that, we're going to go to the platform sprite going to go to costumes and uh, you're going to go ahead and at least start with duplicating this first sprite if you'd like you could just make a whole new costume but uh, keep them labeled this way one dash a number the next number in the sequence until you're ready for a whole new level and then you'll do two dash one but for now one dash two is going to be the same as platform one but we're going to add in um couple of new platforms to jump to. So for that first one, it was just a flat green line. Then we're going to do a about a purple line and maybe a red line. Okay, something that we can jump onto, maybe to collect items or um, try to escape an opponent, an enemy, a foe and uh, move them around just a little bit so that uh, you have room you can jump to them and they're the right height in this game's currently we'll be able to uh kind of glitch the platform just a little bit we're not going to hit our head on it or anything like that this is a simple platformer we may add some code like that later but for now um let's just get a couple platforms we can jump to the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new sprite and you're going to call this sprite portal or whatever you like, door or something like that. For this game, I'm going to be using the circle sprite. I'm going to choose a gradient tool. And this color is actually pretty good. Let's do purple and maybe a red a gradient. And I'm going to keep a transparent circle for the fill. Those colors are too similar to my platform, though, so let me change this just a little. How about uh, this? Okay, uh, that actually looks pretty good. And I'm going to keep it transparent because I think it'd be cool if there was something moving through it. You could kind of see it. Um, all right. Now, I'm going to move it into position over here. And we're going to get started coding. So the way this is going to work is that when the green flag is clicked, uh, for now, this is going to be visible. When green flag is clicked, show. And when our player touches it forever, if touching our player, if touching our player, it's going to move us um, back to the beginning. But for now, if it touches our player, we're going to have it broadcast a message. If it touches our player, broadcast a message called Next Platform. Or whatever you'd like to be uh, labeling it as. Next Platform. When we uh, receive that message next platform we're going to be able to do a couple of things for one our player needs to have a start position and I actually added that um, before starting this video so I'll go ahead and remove it what you need to do is make sure the game is stopped and drag your player to the left side of the screen a little above the line that way he falls lands on the line and he starts on the far left Make sure the game is stopped and you're going to grab the motion block, go to an X and Y position, and put that at the top under the green flag. Those numbers, that X and Y position, correlates to the number of the location of your sprite on the stage. If you move that sprite, you see as numbers change, you just need to match those there. All right, so that message, back to that message we created called Next Platform, when our player touches the portal, or when our portal has been touched by the player, it sends this message called Next Platform. It's like a secret text message. When the game receives Next Platform, it's going to move our player back 
to that starting position. We might update that in a later video, but for now, that at least moves our player back to the left. But our platform also needs to change, and it also needs to know what platform to start the game on. So as we're beginning this game, we're keeping things kind of simple here. It is a simple platformer after all, but we'll make it more advanced later uh, when we begin to add a start screen and other levels that uh, need more events. But our platform, when the green flag is clicked, the costume is going to be the 1-1. When we've touched that portal and send a message called next platform, our player moves to the left of the screen back where we started, and it's going to switch to the next costume. Now I like to use a little weight block right here, and uh, I'm going to say just half a second, 0.5 seconds. Then it'll switch to the next platform costume. So let's test it out. Here we are on our first level, first platform. We can throw fireballs. We can jump, and when we touch that platform, it switches to the next level. And because we're touching a sprite called platform, we uh, aren't falling. Okay? All right, there's a couple little tricks there with our game, the way that it's coded. But anyways, when we fall and touch the platform, after half a second, it switches back to the next costume. So that would have been 1-3, uh, but instead it just put us right back to the beginning. So let's do that now. Let's add a 1-3. I'm going to duplicate 1-2, and it becomes 1-3. And you get to keep that same base level, which is really nice, at least early on. And we're going to shift these around just a little bit. And maybe even move it up. How about uh, this way? I'm going to copy and paste that line so I can have a second one. Uh, quickly that matches it and change that to be yellow and now move it um, whoop I don't want to move the whole thing let me come back in and drag it from here and high enough that we can't just jump to it from the red platform and uh, change that color again okay Whoop, having a hard time getting on that yellow color. There we go. Now we have a platform 1-3. Okay. Green flag, we're on 1-1. One one. We're running along. Throw our fireballs. There's enemies flying around. You have to use your imagination here as we're getting started. We're on level 2. There we are, we're jumping to our platforms, we're safe up here, maybe from a patrolling enemy down below. 1-3 now. We're climbing up, we're getting cool items, collectibles, dodging enemies, getting points as we go, and so on. Okay, I think that's it for this video. We've added an uh, ability to change levels and move on through the game. Probably we'll get to about 1-5 or 1-6. Uh, before uh, we start to reach a boss, and then that'll take us to level 2. Alright, we're going to update this to Simple Platformer version 0.3. We are well on our way to success and having a great time doing it. Good luck out there, happy coding, and we'll see you in the next one.